Well, the short answer is if you're refused bail, you'll be held in custody until the charges against you are finally dealt with or until you can get bail. Uh, but uh, there's more than one opportunity to get bail. In most cases, the police can grant you bail as soon as you're charged, but if they don't, then they have to bring you before a magistrate promptly so you can ask the magistrate to grant you bail even though you've been refused bail by the police. And in most circumstances, there's a presumption in favour of bail, so usually a magistrate will, in fact, grant you bail. Perhaps that bail will be subject to some conditions, but generally speaking, it's relatively rare that bail is refused altogether. If you are refused bail by a magistrate, you can still apply to a Supreme Court judge for bail and applications of that kind can be heard fairly promptly uh, in that uh, they can be brought within a few days after the application is made. Uh, and that, in fact, happens quite commonly. And it's not at all unusual for the Supreme Court to reverse a magistrate's order and grant bail even though both the police and the magistrate originally refused it. Even if the Supreme Court initially refuses your bail, you can still come back again for a second or subsequent shot, but each time you do, you need to show a material change of circumstances to justify the grant of bail. So it's best if you give it your absolutely best shot first time up. But in the end, as I say, it's relatively rare for bail to be refused altogether, and it usually happens only in the most serious cases. Music